extremely below it right now. Not from the snacks or eating, but trying to keep my water and food in for the day. So if I'm breathing heavy, just know I'm not that fat right now. But due to the fact that I gotta get my food in before 6.05, this is a whole other animal. Okay, good morning. Um, we got we got a good one today. We got some double unders. We got whew, some hang power cleans, and we got pull ups. So I think I'm gonna progress this as I go. That's better because it's ten rounds. It's early, and I'm loaded again. Fool. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Let me tell you, this this prepping is no joke for Ramadan. Okay? So being mindful. Oof. Alright, so hopefully you guys have done your mono instructional. I was kind of too. I was trying to mill around a little bit. Um, let's just go ahead. I'm gonna do it. Jump on your jump rope again. Cause I didn't feel good enough. So maybe you guys didn't either in the last 10 minutes that you guys were waiting. Let me see, like 30 to 50 single others. I should say full. I should say full because I don't feel like, mm, but I do feel full. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is big jumps. So slow turn, big jumps. Too slow, too slow. <laughs> Man. Come on, Mercy. The big jump makes me in my ceiling. Oh shit. Okay, okay, we're moving on from that. <sighs> More stuff for the kids upstairs. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Okay, and then now let's do quick jump, like hot pepper. Let's go ahead and let's start with high kicks. Oh boy. Feeling real full. <laughs> That's all you guys are going to hear me say for the next hour. Feeling real full. <laughs> That's so good. And probably breathing heavy. <laughs> Just <sighs> what a tough 6 a.m. wake up. All right. <laughs> and then after that, go ahead and give me two hours one leg. Ah. Whew, yes, sore. I know my quads are tight, or real tight, real tight. Real, real tight. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on, boys. And then go ahead and give me a standing hand pull away. So ideally what you don't want to do is shift back kind of how I'm doing. And then also too, don't let the hand drop downwards. We want to pull it straight away. Whereas mine kind of is like so tight 
but it doesn't want to stay in there. So how do I cheat it? I roll it, but I'm just going to fight it and mentally start to wake it up. Okay. I can also take the other hand out to give it a little bit more flexibility. Okay. So remember, pull it away without letting it drop or straighten. So I'm trying to keep the elbow back oh, the whole time. Standing, arm pull away. Okay. And then, ooh, standing upside down swimmer. So here we want to get to the small of our back and behind your neck. Technically, you try to want to, you want to try to do it at the same time. So when there's a little delay, but still tightness, ooh, or a little nervous system issue, which I would say is bothering me. Oh, gosh. So, wow. Okay. Okay, and then go ahead and take both hands and then bring them both overhead, both behind. So standing swimmer, both behind, over. And then I try to alternate what hand comes underneath. So, try to alternate that. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and get my neck warmed up here. I'm gonna do some circles. And then let's go circles the other way. And then let's go arm circles. Forward. I've been digging the arm circles. I've been missing the floor though. And then reverse. That's probably one of the biggest things that I'm missing. Probably should bring that back. Sudden south. Put your toes. Oh gosh, walk yourself out. Did I tell you guys that I feel full? So full. Gosh, this was a bad idea. Milk was a bad choice. <laughs> but classic, classic movie. You guys ever seen the movie Time Bandits? I think it's the 90s, maybe 80s, but I think it's the 90s, maybe, maybe the late 80s. Uh. And then on your last walk out, go ahead and stay out there. And then give me step ups, step your feet. <sighs> to the outside hand. Wednesday. There we go. Okay, we got grasshoppers. Wowzers. Whew. I'm excited. Let me do this. Okay. And then go ahead and sit back. Oh, I need to get a little bit of that quad stretch. Maybe sit back on that heel. If you're like me, your glutes don't really hit it. So it warms a little bit. So I sit to one side, let it come down. Wow, stiff quads. Okay. And then let's go ahead, face down. Oh, scorpions. Oh. Oh, I feel so full. <laughs> <clears throat> oh man. 
All right, let's get some hop ups. Two, three. I really work on trying to get my hands up, right? So no delay. I'm gonna try to get my chest and eyes and shoulders back. On the hop up. I'm gonna sumo squat touchdown. Should be more like a sumo RDL touchdown. So I'm just really working on hinging and touching the ground, not squatting down to touch. Hinging to touch. Hinging to touch. I'm gonna go ahead and give me some Samson. I'm gonna give you a burp too. Excuse me. Five on each. I have to wake up a little earlier. Wow. Okay, guys. <coughs> and then go ahead and give me 10 scat rows or Snap bed over rows, whatever you're gonna be using for um, your pull ups. So, then snap rows over snap bed over rows. Kipping or jumping pull ups or ring rows. So, if I have something like that, I gotta be quiet, kind of quiet, but they should be waking up pretty soon here. And then, put it under, and then rows, and then I drop that. Okay. I just done with this. I'm starting to feel a little bit. Man, that was, that was pretty touch and go. All right. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. I gotta figure that out. Um, so, yeah, so you gotta go pull up. Um, if you got a dumbbell or a barbell, go ahead and grab the barbell or a dumbbell. Hopefully, you grab a light dumbbell. <laughs> if you only have one, hopefully, it is a light one. And then bring it over. And then just give me the front side of the OG bar worm. All right, so press the deadlift. Two, three, four, five. And then you got into the barbell. Give me 10 of them. Two, three, four, five. And then instead of the RDL, let's just go bend over row. One, two. Three, four, five. And then let's go to the other side. Give me five more bent over row, or 10 total with the barbell. Two, three, four, five. And if you don't have anything, again, you can just use your hands. And you might not think it's much, but it is still trying to move it. And for a lot of people out there that haven't been doing anything, and just now jumping in, it's a good thing. So don't stress. Or a PVC pipe. Good. And then go ahead and switch. One. Muscle clean. Two. Three. Four. Five. Let me see front squat. One. Two. Three. Four. Let me see. Other side. One squat. One, two, three, four, five. Let me 
increasing the press. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then set it down. If you have a heavier dumbbell, grab that. If you don't, that's okay. Hopefully you have a light one. That's the idea. And then, if you guys, uh, let me see here. Oh, I haven't been lifting. I haven't used a barbell in probably five weeks. How long have we been here? Five weeks, six weeks? Bobby's, sisters. So yesterday was the first time with Frank or Monday. Yesterday was nice with the kettlebell, and then it's still two arms. And so I gotta use the barbell. Um, all right. So if you got that dumbbell or barbell, let's go ahead and grab that. And you're gonna go ahead and give me five more deadlifts. <coughs> you guys with the barbell. Do five more this time. So you guys with two arms, you can go two or three or five on each, however you want to do it. And then on the vertical hang power, hip drive, turn and catch. Whew. Somebody's rack position is not doing too well. All right. Five more front squats or two on each front squats with a dumbbell. And then go ahead and give me push press. I'm keeping it so close. I just hit my chin on the way down. <laughs> All right, it's a little tight for me in here, but not really. <sighs> But just right now, I, <laughs> I broke, in this whole process, I broke the back of my truck window. It's actually getting fixed tomorrow. So, and then also my dishwasher's out, which is getting fixed today. So it's just pandemonium on pandemonium. Okay. So grab your jump rope. Uh, if you don't have a jump rope, you can go for a little like 50 meter or 100 meter jog. You guys with your jump rope, let me see, 5, 10, 15, so wonders, or 8, maybe though, what's up honey, oh come on, how are you buddy, yeah. what are you doing, careful little rope, all right, sweetie, good morning. No sweaty legs, sir? All right, and then let's get a couple more pull ups uh, or ring your So. Yeah, I gotta weigh it down. I gotta lock it in. But I have it yet. I was kind of like, I was trying to avoid that. Okay. And then let's go back to your dumbbell or barbell. And just give me one deadlift. And then give me hang power. Clean. Two to three again on one side, and then two to three on the other. You kids that got a barbell, go ahead and grab your weight. So whatever weight you're choosing, you should be able to do it. When you're big, you can carry a bench. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like that. I'm into that. And like a, a giant number. Like 1,000. Ooh, that seems like a lot. I already got to do 100. I already got to do 100. Is anybody else's kids up at 5.36? So it doesn't really matter what happens in this household. This kid wakes up. This kid. <laughs> I love him to death, though. He's a good guy. A lot of energy, a lot of passion. Okay, I'm blessed. But he's happy. I hope he stays like this. Pain in my ass, but happy. Um, that's <laughs> not to say that I I was probably any sweeter. Hey, don't throw my jump rope around like that, buddy. Just leave that alone. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm gonna show you a video of this English guy that yells at his kids because they're recording, and he's about to do some fitness. The little kid gets lippy too, but. All right, so instead of 115, I'm going to use 95. I'm going to keep that team going whenever the barbell happens this week. This is a sweet jump rope. You got to treat this thing like this is like a, uh, oh, man. Hi, sweetie. This is like, like an Eleanor. It's like an Eleanor. You got you to gotta treat her right. You got to treat her right or him right. Uh, okay, so one deadlift at weight. And then two to three or five. Yeah, that'll work. Hang power clean. Okay, 10 of them, huh? All right, you got my attention. If you guys are using dumbbells, it's five on each arm. And then that's about it. Um, so let's go through the rundown of the workout. We got 10 rounds. And we got 30 double unders, 10 uh, hang power cleans, and 10 pull-ups. Or we're going to sub the, the double unders um, for a run, or jumping jacks, or even you can do double unders, just count every three. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. And do that for 30 times. Um, and you'll be fine. And then 10 hang power cleans, five on each. Um, you guys that don't have hang power cleans, touch the ground, turn the shoulders. So, Mikey, can you hit me again? So, just basically touch the ground, jump up, turn the shoulders like you're cleaning. So, an RDL, like that touchdown we did in the morning or in the warm up. So, we're touching and turning and we're jumping. Okay. Um, or you can do walking lunges, whatever you want to do on that sense. Uh, pull-ups, you can go ahead and straight pull-ups, jumping pull-ups, ring rows, towel rows, bent over rows, calorie rows, or a run, 100 meters, whatever you feel comfortable with, or whatever you have. And then remember, you are RXing it. So no matter what, it's RX, it's what you have. So if you don't have pull-ups and you don't have uh, a bent over row, or a row, or a one arm dumbbell, bent over row. I need to know that. I need to know that type of stuff. So just mark RX, you've earned it. Um, also too, it's, like, it's the only thing you have. So then it is prescribed. And then it's important that you know um, that you're beyond the whiteboard score, doesn't get hit. One minute start, doesn't get hit because You've been scaling it, or you've been having to use different stuff because of the pandemic. Okay, so <coughs> pandemic Monday. What? Do you need to still come up with that? Like Monday or Thursday, like the Friday night lights. I maybe we just do Friday night lights. Friday night lights. We just do workouts on Fridays. Uh, same thing like six o'clock and then we drink a drink a beer and hang out Daddy. that's interesting yeah, buddy. Daddy, my hey you want your ipad all 
I see you, sir. <laughs> you, gonna do your work, you gonna do the workout with me? Oh, no. 10 seconds. 10 seconds? Yeah, bro. Five seconds. Okay, ready? Two, one, now! Go! Okay. Good job, buddy. Oh, you were counting that time. Huh? Oh, wow. Oof, ten. Ten. <laughs> What's that? I did. I did. Oh, sorry. I was hoping. I was hoping I could get that out of my ear, <laughs> so that way it doesn't fall out. But that's not. You're fine. You're fine. That's actually why. That's actually why I face this way. Oh, be careful of that light. The arms are good. That's good. Ooh, I said I was gonna do some jumbo. That was like a laugh or anything. Okay. I'm working five. Five. Five is gonna be my life. So you're like six and four. Five, five. Okay. Ten, oof. Yeah. Oh, no. no, you missed two. Yeah, you're a green judge. Yeah, pay attention, buddy. That's five, right? Three and two. So that's that chord. Three and two. Let's three and two. Damn. Damn. Yeah. <coughs> Let's hope we can do this in two sets, not four or five. One would be nice, but. <laughs> That's not what I'm feeling. Hey, buddy. Thank you. All right, that was 15. I'm okay with that. All right. Oh. All right. I'm doing a tenth at least. So. Come on! The arms. Good 
Hey guys. I'm cornered in the cold where you left me. Left again, left again. There's a jungle in my head, going wilder. Then it's killing me, killing me. I can't let you. I can't let you. I can't let you. I can't let you. Hey guys. <laughs> it's like a bad time. It's gonna guys Now you're long gone. 
fast Till I'm thinking of you Do you remember still How we live to run Feels worth it Good work guys
two more guys. I got two more. I feel like I might have missed one of the barbell, but I was on a three minute clock. And then when the triple, the double started hitting a little better, I feel like I sped up. So it threw me off. So. Oh, that was pretty nice. Hit the board. Came back for another six. I'm not really there. Uh, capable, skilled athlete. <laughs> uh, that's the honor now. All right, here we go.
Ah, 26, 19. And if not, 23, 40 something was. Mikey, you claim I did an extra round? I like that. I know we don't have that big of a brain fart. Good job today, guys. I did do 11, huh? That's what I thought. But I have a firm, firm belief. You got one objective while working out. Remember your numbers. If you forget it, you start over. <laughs> so it's pretty simple. Luckily, I only forgot one round. More than that, then you got to make whatever your thought process is, you got to make those up on the fly. And then you go back later. But you're better off that than the bullshit about like, oh, I did eight rounds. Oops, no. If you think you're gonna do eight, just do extra and then be an idiot like me. And be like, ah. Okay? Good work today, guys. Wasn't as bad as I thought. I definitely was feeling sluggish. Uh, Ramadan's got me uh, mentally, physically, emotionally. I'm into it and I'm out of it. So it's pretty cool um, to feel that like this. Kind of like most of us with our fitness. No, oh, I could do nothing. I could do something. Remember, if anything, and you've been doing your challenges, keep doing your challenges. The workouts will come and go, but keep your, your challenges. And if you guys haven't read Atomic Habit, he talks about that in the book, about how research shows, and also, too, a lot of high-level athletes have predominantly, uh, let's say, less than subpar training sessions where they're disappointed in it and they wish they could be better. And just know that those sessions are few and far between. And the reality of what builds us are these sessions. So what you saw me go through this morning, this bloated, or what I said, feeling full, um, that was it, you know? And it worked out better than I thought. So not too bad. The jumping pull-ups, I gotta be aware, even though I'm going weightless on the jump, I still gotta keep my shoulders down. It's an easy way to learn that instead of cronking it. So I really like all these exercises, especially from somebody that suffers of shoulder injuries. Um, and remember, I got hit by a drunk driver and I had a faulty bar. So no fault of my own. Well, maybe my biceps. Maybe I'll talk about that tonight. Um, but the, the ring rail, setting the scaps, Terrace, Meyer in the trap, in the trap, mid trap, setting those things up. Um, that's what a PT. And most people will tell you that your posterior chain is weak. So this uh, row and these jumping pull-ups ensuring that the shoulders stay down are more important than probably any exercise that we normally do. So if you guys can use this time to really address that, your shoulders will start feeling pretty good. I bet you your, your forearms and your traps are going to feel good because my traps feel like shit. Um, but thank you guys. Uh, love you. Keep it up. Remember, we got Zoom uh, at nine, and I think we're gonna move that to seven tomorrow. I'm gonna talk to the powers that be, and then uh, we got PE. How got to PE? Oh, it's yoga today. Yeah. And then um, nighttime. My crew keeping us float. You know, my only Zoom kids, seven p.m. Shutting us down. I love you guys. And then uh, the happy hour. Everybody's welcome except for Christian. That's what they say. That's not me. That's not me. That's just the word on the street. Don't worry. In solidarity, buddy, I'm not going with you. Okay? Plus, my wife's there. 
She saw me out there go. I love you guys. <laughs> she didn't tell me that. <laughs> Thank you, Mikey. <laughs> I'm not for sure you fell asleep a few times.